I think this session is very important for anybody who is involved in routine clinical practice in any specialised hospital where you may see patients who have a degree of immunocompromisation which results in very complex clinical situations where not only may they be uh, infected but they may have infections from multiple agents but also may present with other uh, clinical uh, problems as well which make interpretation of imaging quite difficult. Well, we're very fortunate to have um, in this session um, three very good speakers. Um, the first speaker, Professor Mike Satege, who comes from South Africa, has a long experience of imaging uh, in patients who are HIV positive and also with tuberculosis. These problems may not be common in your part of Europe, however, they are becoming more common, particularly with uh, shifting populations. Second um, speaker is Professor uh, Blikas Rovers who is a clinical uh, medic from Nijmegen and she has had a special interest in using scintigraphic imaging in patients who are immunocompromised and has published widely on the use of both uh, labelled leukocytes and FDG. The third speaker is probably not quite so eminent because it's myself uh, and I'm talking about the use of imaging in patients who've had transplantation where we have a, a dual problem. We have the underlying diagnosis that caused the patient to be transplanted. We have the problem of a possible infection. We also have the problem that these patients may have post-surgical scars, which for example may be positive from an FDG PET. And it's how you teasel out uh, all these issues and how you determine whether or not the patient does or does not have an infection. Are you ever faced with the problem of trying to image a patient that has a fever and is immunocompromised? What study do you do? How do you interpret the study? Should we rely on single photon methods? But if we don't have white cells, how do we label them? Maybe we should be using FDG PET. How should we image the patient? What should we be looking for? How do we make the diagnosis? If these are the kind of problems that you face, then you need to come to our CME session on infection and inflammation in the immunocompromised patient.